Peace, y'all. We in Eastside Park. Who we with today? RDR. RDR? Alabama Projects. Alabama Projects. Right over there, right? Yeah. yeah. no longer there. I live on Ellison County on the senior citizen building with my mother. I take care of her and she take care of me. Okay, okay. I finally got better, y'all. I was sick for eight years. Thank you for y'all prayers. God is truly good to me. Now I'm a personal trainer and a male exotic dancer. I don't take my pants off. I just take my shirt off for the ladies. So if you want to get to know me, my number is 862-306-0455. Call me anytime, but don't call me with no BS. All right? <laughs> God bless. So you call, call them on some personal training too. That's right. You personal know what I'm saying? training Business. and dancing for the ladies. Business. Yeah, I train men and ladies. You know, I don't discriminate. Anybody that can pay $25 an hour, I got you. And then if you turn out to be good, I'll break it down to 15 for you. And if you don't get no results in six months, you have all your money back because I make sure you fill out a contract, okay? Love y'all. Peace. All right. So you, you got any type of little, like, I want to see you do some work, man, like some pull-ups, push-ups. Oh, okay. like you got any I'm of that just up at the park. I, I do work out, but I haven't done pull-ups because my back is messed up. Yeah. They say they want to operate, but I'm not going to let them operate. God going to heal me with these herbs that I take. But I'm going to show y'all something. I only can do maybe four or five pull-ups, but I'll get down and do some push-ups with my workout stuff in here, and I'll show you everything that I do at home and when I train people. We're going to start now. That's the, that's the weighted arm? This is all my equipment that I train for. Oh, uh, and I thought it was weights. No, this, I got weights in here too, but not heavy weights. Two pounds and, uh, yeah, two pounds and one pound. I'm going to show them right now. Thank you, brother. No. Right, let's, get, let's get it. Let's I get it. I just met this man, y'all. This man is, <laughs> what's your name again, sir? Marv, Marv. Marv. This is Marv and this is Artie. I'm so glad God sent me to him because this man just taught me something. I never could talk in front of a camera, but I'm going to do the best I can. Everybody work with me and I'm going to work with you. Thank you. Give me one minute. All right, now. Thanks, Marv. Marv. No problem, man. I owe you, man. Ain't nothing, bro. Yo, I, I felt stupid. That's why I said no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get myself out there, Marv. Thank That's you. what I'm talking about, man. You can't. Now, Look, I mean, don't let fear get you. I'm getting ready to bring out the things that I work out with every day. Okay, I don't lift weights. I just lift my the heaviest weight I lift is 10 pounds, but I don't have that with me because that's too heavy to be carrying two dumbbells in my pocket. But I'm gonna show you everything else. Hold on. This is my push-up bars. That's one. Push-up bars. That's two. Look, you remember that that workout back in the day? They said that shit don't work. I got the shaker. This right here <laughs> cuts you up like this will turn you into a gitsu steak knife. <laughs> got the shake weights. And look, this is for my ladies that I be training. This is the heaviest weight you're going to lift with me. <laughs> and this will trim you up. And ha look, it have you with that glass apple body again. Your husband is chasing you around the house. <laughs> Pain for the ladies. And this is my rope that I use to stretch with and do exercise with. This is all you need. Hold on, one more. And this is what I have in my hand to do uh, exercise with. Okay, ladies? What, what the, what's, what's that? This is... Sand weights, one pound, see? One okay, pound, okay, okay. that's the heaviest I'm gonna let y'all do. Look, you put it on like this, look. You slide your hand in, and you do like that. And look, I got ankle weights on my arms to make my arms lighter so I can be fast when I box. I usually wear them on my ankles, but I don't wanna put water in my knees again. So, okay, I'm gonna start now, y'all. This is how I start out before I work out. You always have to stretch. Stretching is the most important thing. If you don't, you will pull a muscle and you won't want to work out no more. Please listen to me. If you can take good criticism, you can work with me. If you can't, don't fuck with me. Excuse me for cursing. I gotta keep it real. Um, I gotta keep it real. Here I go. This is Artie Nixon doing his thing right now, okay? Here we go. You must stretch. The first thing you do, you, you hold your head up straight, you look at God and say hello. And then you bend over slowly. Everybody, remember, bend over slowly. Look, all right? The first time you might not touch your toes. You keep going until you touch your toes. If you don't touch your toes, you're not doing nothing, okay? Look, I'm gonna take these out of my hand because this ain't what I work out with. This ain't what I stretch out with when I first start. Oh, you got that. Those, those, Give me one second. Arm weights. Give me one second. This all I use, I bro. ain't even peeped that. Look, you know I used to be a fat person to people that know me. How heavy were you? Huh? How, how heavy were you? I used to be 290 now. Before y'all, before this, before I got sick. Oh, all right. Guess how much I weigh now? You guess yet? I weigh 210 pounds solid. 
I have hyperthyroid. I would never get no heavier than 215 because of my disease. As long as I, as long as I take my medicine, I'll be all right. So I'm getting ready to start so I can shut this down. Give me one minute, y'all. It's windy as hell out here. Yeah, it's windy, but I'm going to show my black people. I'm going to show everybody all over the world. Here you go. The tree done fell. The tree fell already? A little, yeah, half of the top. Okay, here we go, people. Look, the first thing you do when you before you work out is stretch, okay? And when you first wake up in the morning, don't eat. Brush your teeth and drink water. For the first hour, just drink water. That's how you lose weight and develop your body. People don't tell you that. They just want you to pay that money so they can train you. They don't tell you how to lose weight. They want you to keep coming so they can keep getting your money. I'm going to train you for six months, and you don't have to do it no more. You do it by yourself. You don't have to keep paying your money. If you don't get results, I give you all your money back. You sign the contract before we start. If you don't sign the contract, I don't work with you. So if you get hurt, it's not my fault. All right, I'm going to teach you the right way. Here we go. Stretch first. Take a deep breath and bend over. You count to five and then come up. One, two, three, four, five. Slow, not fast, slow. I always raise my hand and say thank you to God because of what I've been through, okay? Thank you, Lord. That's one. You don't have to do no more than five to ten stretches, and then I'm going to show you one more. Thank you, Lord. I do that all the time. That's not just for this camera. I do it when nobody's looking, okay? chance to rest. You grow and get stronger by resting. I learned that it took for me to get to be 55 to learn how to do something right. Okay? So God is truly good. No matter how long it takes, as long as you learn and you finally achieve something in your life. Okay, 55 I'm a, years old? Yeah. That's I'll be 56 up, July 8th. So everybody that want to send me a card or happy birthday, July 8th of this year, I'll be 56. Thank you. God bless. I'm going to finish showing y'all. Been over finish. 50. Okay, here we go. This is the last one I'm going to do. You, only, you can do 5 to 10 if you want, but make sure you do at least 5 when you bend over and 5 with the other thing I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to my kids. I didn't even know I was stepping on my kids. This is my kids, y'all. Arden and Shanika. This is the first kids that was in my life before my other kids. But I love all my kids the same. This is when they was babies. Remember back in the day they had that Meadowland Fair? This is when I took that back in 1987. Yeah, that's when my son was born, 1987. His sister was already born. She was four here, he was one. That's, that's your Nico Neither, and that's Artie, little Artie Nixon. I'm big Artie Nixon, okay? He's from Alabama and she's from Alabama, but they both are on their own now. She's married with three sons, and he have a daughter named Naya, my, my grandbaby, and she had three sons. I gotta get to know them because I just got better now, but that's it. I'm not trying to tell my business, I just want people to know how happy I am for my kids and for God sparing me and giving me another chance. I would never ever put that stuff in my nose again and do wrong. I told God if I ever put something up my nose again, take me away from here. Because seven and a half years in the bed, seven and a half to eight years in the bed was miserable but it happened for a reason. Maybe I would've got killed because I was running wild out here selling drugs and disrespect disrespecting people and women. And to all the women I ever call a bitch or disrespect, I apologize. I wasn't in the right state of mind then. I am now, God bless you, and I hope you're living, living right now and doing well. Thank you, please forgive me. All right, I'm gonna put this back on my chest. I had it up there, it fell. This, me and my son had a misunderstanding before. 
I finally went to him and apologized like a man because it was my fault, not his. So everybody that know what happened between me and my son out there, he was not the culprit of that. I started that. I shouldn't have punched him in his face. He did what he had to do to me back then when I first got up, but now we good. He know never to put his hands on me again because it won't go down like that again. But um, let's get off of that. I love my son. It was my fault. God bless everybody. Everybody love your kids and respect them. Don't be their friend. Be their father or their mother. Because once you be their friend, they treat you like shit. Treat them like you their parents, not their friend. Because when you their friend, you let them get away with a lot of shit. Teach them from the beginning so they, don't, they know not to go left. Make sure they always go right or straight. Okay. I'm going to shut up now. I know you probably say this motherfucker. Oh, no. Nah, word of wisdom, but, uh, man. Some wise words. I'm never going to tell you nothing wrong. And for the young guys out there that don't have no father, I would like to be a mentor to you guys because I grew up w without one too. And that's why I did the things I did because I didn't have nobody to teach me. I'm here for you if you need me. My number is 862-306-0455. For all the young men that's out there messing up right now, now that you see me, call me if you need somebody to talk to or somebody to just be with you and spend time with you. I promise you, if I have time that day, or I'll make time for you, and we'll hang out and talk, and I'll lead you in the right direction, as God is my witness. If I'm lying, I hope God take me away from here right now. So please call me, 862-306-0455. And thank you, Ma. No problem, man. I'm getting ready to finish the workout, and then I'm going to stop, y'all. All right, now. All right, hold on. Let me put this on because I'm truly glad God gave me another chance with my kids. The wind must have took that off. Huh? Yeah. Now, now heavy, I didn't clip it right. That heavy ass wind is Yeah, I didn't us. clip it right. I hope, little Artie, I hope you see this, man, because I want you to know, man, I really love you. And I meant what I said when I apologize to you, son. You're my firstborn son, my firstborn child. I have the utmost respect for you, son. And I'm so proud of you working all these years. And I'm so proud that you hung in there and made sure dad didn't give up on his life because I wanted to die a lot of times. I remember I tried to jump out the eighth floor window three times and y'all stopped me. Thank you so much. And to my